Hello and welcome to GMBN Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to protect your frame from chips and scratches in the future with the Muckoff Protection Series. So obviously you're going to need your protection stickers. I've gone for a clear here because I really like the color on my Canyon. Um, you can get other patterns as well. I've got the punk edition on my Nuke Proof Scout. Doddy's got the camo edition. So you can actually jazz up your bike with this series as well as just protect it. Now to apply this, you're going to need a squirty bottle with some water and you can add a little bit of baby oil in order to make things a little slower in application. Uh, but it's not recommended with the muck off, water is just fine. You might need some scissors to cut things down as well and a cloth or a squeegee will be a really useful tool for getting all of the air bubbles out and a microfiber cloth to dry everything down and also some fast drying degreaser is a really good idea for cleaning your bike to start with and making sure that all of those stickers adhere in the first place. So you need to be working with a really clean bike and a clean frame to make sure that the stickers adhere properly but also so you don't get an annoying piece of fluff or grit under those stickers that you have to stare at for ages. Now I've already cleaned my bike but I'm going to use a biodegreaser to make sure everything is spotless, there's no residue or leftover grease on there and because it's a degreaser and I don't want these on my rotors then I've used the Markov rotor protectors or you can just take your wheels out to make sure you don't contaminate your brakes at this stage. If any of your cleaners or degreasers leave any residue, then maybe use a disc brake cleaner just to get that off. There will be instructions on which piece goes where, but it is a little bit open to interpretation just to make sure it fits your bike perfectly. So you might need some scissors at one stage just to get around anything specific to your bike to make it fit perfectly. Next up, you wanna spray your stickers, your hands and your frame with water because this creates a little barrier or a sort of slippery layer so that we can apply the stickers and then move them around as we see fit and try and get them all lined up before it starts to stick. So I'm peeling them off one section at a time. I'm just gonna give it a quick spray with water on the sticky side as well. It just gives me a little bit more time to work with. And this is why we have wet hands as well, so they don't stick to me. So the curved section goes around the headset and you want to line up the center as best possible with the center of your headset and the water just allows you to sort of pick it up and replace it and then I just have a look at it and see if that seems central to me and all the lines line up and then we can go ahead and push it down. Now a purpose-built squeegee would be the ideal scenario for pushing these down and pushing out all the air bubbles but if you don't have one of those then a thin cloth like this detailing cloth will just help you to push down on the stickers but also when you run your finger along them it will stop you from getting any kind of friction burns so it's just a little easier to work with. Now what you want to do is start in the center and then work your way all the way down so you get a nice seal in the center and then you start to work out either side by pushing the water away from the center. And by doing that, you're pushing out all of the air bubbles to the edge and out from underneath your sticker. At this stage, just dry everything down and inspect for bubbles, because if that's gonna drive you mad like me, then you wanna do this now before it really sets into place. Now you can spray it and rework it a little bit. So maybe peel back to the bubble and then push that bubble back out. Otherwise, if the stickiness has started to set in, 
then you might want to get a hairdryer and just heat it up so that the glue becomes malleable again and then you can peel it back and get that bubble out. The remaining sections of your top tube or your down tube protection is just there to customize the length of your top tube. So just use as many as you think is best. And don't forget to respray the frame and your hands. Apply your extra sections about one to two mil from the previous sticker, just so that they don't overlap gives you room for a little bit of error as well. Your frame protection kit will also come with down tube protection, seat stay protection, chain stay protection, seat tube protection as well at the back here and it'll also come with a few extra patches which you can put on places like your head tube just to prevent cable rub in the future don't forget those extra bonus packs like your cranks and your fork protection so you just repeat that process of wetting it down and sticking it down and working out those bubbles on all the other stickers that you want to use on your frame and don't forget to check it about an hour or so after you think you've finished, just to make sure there's no corners curling up as they need to be worked back down. And don't forget that hairdryer might help to get it all back to being malleable if you need to reposition anything. But other than that, you're good to go. So hopefully you found this useful. And I'd love to hear what sort of frame protection you've been using, whether you chose a pattern or a clear and why. Let me know down in the comments below and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thanks.